and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today we are making a melt and pour soap kit. We're going to review this kit. I was sent this. It's from Alexis. It's an organic soap making kit and we'll open it together. I've already taken a peek in there. It has molds. It has mixing cups. It has the essential oils, the colorants. It really came with everything in the kit. And so we will talk about what's in here, what it retails for, and uh, we'll make it and see see what we get. <laughs> I think this is going to be really fun. Uh, this would be a great DIY kids projects if you're trying to make teacher's gifts or holiday gifts. I think this is fabulous. So we're going to dig into this box. We're going to make some melt and pour organic. It's an organic soap base, some organic melt and pour soaps today. All right, let's dig into this box and see what we've got. Let me see here. Okay, opens up like this. It's a really cute box. I think kids would love this. I think adults would love this. If you've never made soap before, something like this would be an awesome way to start. So let's see what we have in here. User guide. Okay, so it tells you everything that's included in the kit. You've got the wax, the essential oils, colors, micas. It comes with a little loofah, so you can make a loofah soap, measuring cups, molds, stir sticks. I mean, it really has even labels, a little bit of labeling and packaging. So this has everything to make your soap from start to finish. And then in here, it has a very specific making guides. It's pretty inclusive. I like this. If this was your very first time making it, I think that you could read this and not be confused and make your products. So let's see. Here are the molds it comes with. One, two, three, four different molds. So we have a nice round one that looks like about a three ounce size. Nice oval. Got one here that says natural. Looks like a little peanut shape, but that's cute. Nice little bar size and a rectangle. So some pretty basic molds, but they're nice and sturdy. So we have four different molds to choose from. And then let's pull this out. Okay, the one thing that it doesn't come with is it gives you this little pump spray bottle for isopropyl alcohol because you like to spritz the top of melt and pour. It gets all the little air bubbles out. So you will have to provide your own rubbing alcohol, but you know, that's pretty inexpensive. You can get rubbing alcohol at any drugstore or grocery store. So, but it comes with a little spritz bottle for that. That's very nice. So here is a little measuring cup. I think it's microwavable because they recommend you microwave your melt and pour to get it melted down. So, and it's got little measurements on the side. And then here are some nice little eco-friendly paper cups. I think it's to mix the different colors in. So they provide that. Very nice. Okay, here is, let's see what we've got, the stir sticks. Boy, it comes with a lot of stuff. So here is the little loofah and it is dehydrated. So what they tell you to do is soak this in water, let it plump up and then let it dry again. So it opens up to its full um, expansion to put in probably the little mold here if you wanted to make a loofah soap. So I would need to, we're gonna need to rehydrate that if we're gonna do a loofah soap. What else do we have here? Okay, some twine. I think this goes with the wrapping portion. And we have some micas, beautiful. Prepared. Okay, here's some soap labels or little gift tags and they have hole punches. So that's what the twine is for. So you can put little gift tags on your soaps. That's cute. Now let's pull out the rest of the micas here and look at the different colors. We got stir sticks, eco-friendly wooden stir sticks. That's a plus. And look at this selection of mica. These are the dry micas. Really pretty colors to choose from. I mean, you can do a lot with this rainbow of colors. And then, let's see here is, these are gel colorants. So they also send you liquid dyes. Got some really pretty colors to work with there and the gel dyes, so lots of color options. And then here, they send you some essential oils. And they're actually very generous here. I mean, that is a lot of essential oil in each of these little jars. You could do several, several different soap batches with all of these. So what do we have here? We have patchouli, we have peppermint, lavender, and 
Ylang Lang. So those are really, I mean, those are pretty categorically popular essential oils, and these are very generous amounts. It's five milliliters in each one of these. So um, I'm impressed with how much essential oils you get. Here is the organic melt and pour soap base. Two pounds, this is a lot, two pounds. You're gonna get a lot of soaps out of this volume and they give you enough colorants and enough essential oils that you could work all of this and still have some leftovers. So they don't shy on the um, additives that are gonna go into here. So that's generous. You got two pounds of soap base. Let's see down here. Oh, look, it comes with some boxes. You can fold these boxes up made with love. So they've got the labels, they've got some boxes. Handmade, this one says love for you, love you. And down here are some bags. I think if you don't wanna put it in a box, you can put it in a bag and tie it off with the twine. And they really have you from start to finish there is everything in this box. So that's what we got. Let's get to making some soap. All right, here is a look at everything we got all spread out. This kit retails for $39.99. So, you know, with tax and all that, it's $40 for all of this. Uh, but you do have two pounds of soap base and definitely enough colorants and fragrance to make two pounds worth of soap. So that's really not a bad deal. I think as far as pre-made kits where, you know, pre-assembled kits like this go, I think it's a pretty fair price. All right, let's get to it. All right, well, one of the first things they say to do is put the little loofah, cut it up if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it whole in some boiling water and let it fluff up. And there it is in its, all its little fluffed up glory. So now I'm gonna strain this out and let it dry um, before we get moving on. Okay, so a little prep work. Here is my fluffed up and ready loofah and it fits perfectly in this round mold. So I'm gonna use the whole thing in here for a little loofah scrubby soap. And uh, this I'm providing on my own because I have it. It's a little snowflake mold. And so I'm gonna melt a teeny bit of the soap and I'm gonna use this silver white mica and pour some little snowflakes and then we'll put those in these two soap molds. I thought that would be pretty just to add a little sparkle. So this is something extra that I'm doing. Um, these are on Amazon. These molds are very easy to find. They're very inexpensive and I just wanted to add a little sparkle. So this is extra but everything else so far is uh, what comes in the kit. So now I need to get just a teeny bit of melt and pour melted for the snowflakes and let those start hardening and then we'll get on to the main part of the soap. All right, I've got a little melt and pour here in a Dixie cup. Let's open up our silver mica and add it in here. And I'm just gonna eyeball it and get it to, you know, a nice pretty sparkly color. It's not gonna take much. Okay, that's looking really pretty. So now let's get our little snowflakes poured and then we can move on. Our first soap, which I want to do the little loofah soap here. So I've patted it dry. It's dry to the touch. It's ready to go. Um, this is about a three ounce bar. And with this is going to take up a little extra volume, plus a couple of drops of the, I'm going to do the Ylang Lang uh, essential oil with some yellow gel color. And I thought that looked really pretty together. Um, so let's look at the directions here. It says the soap cubes are go in the melt melting jar here in the microwave and to pulse for 10 to 15 seconds. And I can tell you this melts very fast. If you don't keep an eye on it, it will foam over your cup, but you don't want to overheat this because it can affect the finished product. I think it makes the bars, it can get modely, it can sweat easier. So you definitely don't want to overheat. You just want to the melting point. So let's measure out our cubes here. We'll get them melted. Then we're going to 
pour it into one of our little cups here for colorant. And it's, it doesn't give you measurements on the gel. It just says to do um, as much as you want for saturation. And then for the essential oils, it says 10 to 20 drops per bar. So that's what we'll do. So right now, let's get three ounces of these little cube. It comes all cubed up, which is very convenient. So let's measure out three ounces of these little cubes. there is three ounces. I'm going to pulse this for about five seconds, burst, kind of swish it around five seconds more until it's all melted up. Back. That took about 30 seconds total. So now I'm going to pour it in my little mixing cup here. I think they just like to keep all the colorants and fragrances out of here so that you can reuse this. So I'll set that off to the side. And now let me get my little stirring stick. They provide several sticks, so that's very nice. And let's do the colorant first. Oh goodness. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure, I've never worked with this gel colorant, so let's just start with a couple of drops and kind of stir it and see. I want this to be a little bit see-through so you can see the loofah in there, so I don't want too much. Let me do two more. Let's see, that looks very pretty. I like that. You can't really see on camera here. So let's get the loofah in here and now let's do our essential oil. Start counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, we got twenty drops drops of the yalang yalang in there. And now Let's pour it into our little mold here. It's so cute. And I want to make sure this loofah is fully saturated. Oh, I really like that yellow color. Kind of goes with the fresh scent. There we go. I thought we'd have too much melt and pour. That is just the perfect amount here. That loofah didn't take up too much space. All right, so here it is. I'm going to set it off to the side. I don't want it disturbed. Oh, I forgot. They say after you get it poured, I put my alcohol in here. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol in the spritz bottle that they provided. Let me just, oh yeah, it takes any little air bubbles off the top. That's convenient. Okay, now I'm going to set this off to the side. Well, let's get to our next bar. It's literally just been, you know, maybe five or ten minutes, and we can unmold these little snowflakes, I think. Yes. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, my word. <laughs> Love. Okay, let me get these unmolded, and then let's move on to our next little project here. Oh, that one's cute. Oh, my word. These are adorable. For our next bar, I'm going to try something. We'll see. If it doesn't work out, we'll do it again a different way because these were so easy to make. I'm going to try lining the bottom with these snowflakes and pouring a little layer of the melt and pour on top to kind of stick them and then fill the rest up so that when we unmold it, you'll see the snowflakes. This is my thought process. We'll see. What I'm afraid of is if I pour all the melt and pour on there, it'll be so warm, it'll just melt them. So I want to make a little bit of the melt and pour. There we go. All right, so I've got these already down in the bottom and I'm just going to melt a little bit of melt and pour and we'll see if we can get those to stick and then we will pour the rest of it in there. So I'm going to be doing the peppermint essential oil because I thought mint and the snowflakes sounded really good. And then I'm going to do the mica. I w it was a toss up. They have the scarlet red gel, which I'm sure is going to be pretty, but I want a little bit of sparkle. So this uh, cherry red mica has a little bit of sparkle. So we'll do that.
All right, so <laughs> they got covered a little, but it's still really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one out and then we'll try it again, um, putting these on top of the next bar. So I've got my melted, again, this only took about 35 seconds to do this batch. We'll put it in here and get the colorant and our mint fragrance in there, essential oil. bit of the mint left I'm gonna pour it in the bottom of this oval one and we'll do a layer since you know we've got it going let's just do that I don't want to waste anything so there is the red layer and then we'll do a green layer and then we'll put our little um, snowflakes on top of that wouldn't that be pretty all right here is the rest of the melt and pour I'm gonna put it in my stir cup and I decided to use for the green layer oh I'm gonna use peppermint again to go with the peppermint that's in there uh, this grass green gel colorant so let's get a stir stick and we'll just start adding drops till we get it where we want it soaps are cooling I thought I'd put together these little gift boxes that came with the kit and it also came with the clear bags here also that you can use but I wanted to put the boxes together they seem pretty straightforward I think it's kind of like my shipping boxes yep it is so let's see Is adorable so let's see it was gonna just fold in and then those go in the sides there that is so cute oh yay all right, so this is how I'm unmolding these. I tried to unmold them um, by pulling. These molds don't have any flexibility. And Katie Carson had a suggestion. She said, pop them in the freezer for about five minutes, then take them out and set them in hot water, which is what I'm doing. So the soap didn't get wet. I just poured a shallow amount of hot water in my sink and put it in there and it unmolded like a dream. Let me get the other ones and show you. All right, drying off the bottom here. Okay, this is the one with my little snowflakes that sort of kind of got covered up. Let's see if we can get it out. It's, it's unlocked. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, let's get the other one. All right, here's our little layered one with the snowflakes on top. Let's see if we can pop that out. Yep. Ah. Oh. 
Thank you so much, Katie, for your tip. I was really struggling before I remembered what she said on her little melt and pour video. It, they really unmold like a dream. Oh, that is so cute. And these pigments are very, that gel um, colorant is a very pigmented color. That is quite nice. All right, let's get the last one. Lavender bar. vegetable peeler here and clean up the tops and then I will give you the big reveal all right oh that's so cute natural and again look how pigmented that gel was I did not use very many drops so the those colorants are wonderful I'm gonna go ahead and clean all these up since I've got my vegetable peeler out. Just any of the rough edges. I just don't think that's comfortable on a bar of soap. I like smooth edges. So this one with the loofah, I'm really glad I only did a couple of drops of the yellow because you can really see the loofah in there. That is adorable. least let's give this a lather test. I figured I'd try this one and see how it lathers with that dark pigment in there. So feels a little tacky but I know it hasn't sat and cured for a day or two so it might lose that tackiness plus it was in the freezer. Oh it lathers very nicely. I'm trying to build up a lather here. Okay so the lather is white. It doesn't that pigment is wonderful. It doesn't come out in the soap. Let me see how this does if I add a little water. Ooh. That's nice. That's a good little lather going on here. That's a nice soap base and it feels very smooth. It's got a nice feel. Let's rinse and see how it feels on the rinse. If it leaves a residue. No, it feels very soft. It's got a gentle lavender scent that's kind of lingering on my skin. It rinses really nice. I think the lather is great. I'm impressed. And then that little bit of bubbles on the back will just wash off. You can see it coming off. That was where I overfilled and did um, spritz the rubbing alcohol on there. But those are wonderful. Wow, what a fabulous little bar of soap and it lathers really nice. I mean, like right away it starts building up the bubbles. So I, uh, I'm impressed. That's a good bar of soap. All right, let's look at some of the wrapping options that came in the kit. So these are all, these three are too big to fit in the boxes, but the boxes fit the little round one absolutely perfectly. That is so cute. This would make a great little stocking stuffer or a teacher's gift or just any kind of little gift that you needed. It's homemade, it's adorable, so cute. So the round mold fits the boxes. Now let's look at the other options. So we've got these clear cellophane bags and some cute little hang tags. They have some blank ones that you can write on or this one that just says for you. And they already have pre-punched little holes at the top. adorable this one smells so good well I really hope you enjoyed today's video and the review for this product here let me show you the box again so everything you need to make what we did today comes in this kit organic soap making and uh, I have enough so we made four bars of soap today, and I have about half of this left. I have about a pound left. So this would make a total of eight bars of soap. 
for $40. So it's going to be about $5 a bar, but it's homemade and there's something really fun about doing this and it comes with all of the wrapping. So, you know, it's not too pricey. I think it's rather affordable. If you wanted a kit to do with somebody, make your first soap. I think this is just a fabulous idea. And for what you get, I think it's pretty good. Plus, let me show you. I have several sticks left over. This I can keep using. That's a great little measure cup. I'll be using that again in my soap studio. I have all these essential oils left. I mean, these are generously filled and this is the peppermint. So even after scenting a bar, I, there is a ton of essential oil left in each one of these jars. I can use those for more projects. And then the colorants, they're very generous with the colorants. I have lots and lots of micas left and these gel colorants. The amount of soap they give you, but if you bought another melt and pour block, you could use all of these to continue making soaps. And the little molds they give you are cute. I, I think I like other molds, but I think these are adorable and they were fun to work with. And so I really think it's a cute project. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked the video. This was fun to make. And if you give it a try, let me know and have a wonderful day.